Today's video is looking to the week ahead. There's three stocks that I have been watching closely, waiting for a reversal. I believe we're potentially have ever got that or we're about to get that. And as soon as we do, I'll be putting the money down, guys. And I think this is gonna be a good swing trade opportunity here on these stocks. So if you are interested, keep watching the video. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack, everyone? Welcome back to Buy Wholesale. Hope, of course, you are all well. I've uh, been doing these sort of videos now on and off for the last few months, and we've had some great wins. We've had Alpine 4, in and out, 35% profits. We've had Skills, most recently, did the alert video, where I bought, where I sold, made, what, 28, 29% uh, gains on that over a space of a couple of weeks. The list really does go on. I need to remind everyone before we get into the stocks that I'm picking, you need to understand that I am swing trading in and out. You need to know how to do this um, and when to buy. Just because I'm saying these stocks are showing a reversal, there is a lot that goes into the indicators and stuff that I use. And if it doesn't hit the way I want it to hit, then I will not be buying. And when it changes, I will be selling. So please, you need to understand that because those other videos that I had done, there's been people going, well, are you still in? Or when are we getting to this price? And I'm like, guys, I'm out of this trade a long time ago. And just to, to remind everyone on skills, for anyone new to the channel, this is the kind of thing we're doing here. 24th of October, we're dropping the video. It's a buy. You can go in, watch that video. I talk about it, talk about why we're buying it, price targets, the whole shebang. Go back to my channel, you'll see, buy the dip, Earnings gains, talk about it, more to come, time to sell, momentum is faded. I give you all the warning signals right up until I tell you it's a sell one on the 16th of October. If you actually watch this video, um, I say we are selling on, I sold the day prior, 15th of November. If we go to this chart, when we jumped in on this, October 24th, get the measuring tool. October 24th was actually a Sunday, so it was the Monday. 25th we jumped in on this trade and we were out by the 15th of november great swing trade that is over 25 percent in three weeks exactly three weeks take that all day long and see what's happened the reason i got out see because what's happened since then you've got this 17 and a half percent drop no interest in it and right now skills is not a buy it's not looking good there's several reasons why i could get into that but those who know will know um, but not buying that. So what we're talking about today is the ones that we are buying, okay? And the one, first one on my list is Tattooed Chef, baby. Uh, a stock that, um, I'm not getting into why I like this stock. Um, it's one that me and my friend sort of, um, we have a little thing going with it, like, um, not a great stock, in my opinion, that I want to hold particularly long term, but it is a swing trade dream. And I'll show you, just to pull this out, we have been in and out of this. Well, he hasn't been, he's been long hold, holding. Uh, but he did take some profits off the table the last time I sort of said to him around the $24 mark. So he was happy enough that he did that. But I have been riding this treat all the way long. Um, and right now, this was resistance. It was looking a bit, bit ropey um, on their earnings. They delayed earnings call. It was a whole thing. But they did their earnings. Not the greatest earnings, in my opinion, but a good enough outlook uh, for the future. And considering everything, it actually did go pretty damn well the next day. So you'll see here, um, I'm not getting all the technical stuff, but long story short is we have a buy symbol that came in on the 18th of November. Um, I had actually bought already in the prior to this just because I know the stock, and that's something else. You can do your technicals, you can do your fundamentals, but sometimes you just know the stock. And I just felt, going by the history on this stock, since I've been in and out of this, uh, since June 20, um, you know, this has been a great ride. So over a year and a half in and out of this, and I feel, um, and it's only my thoughts, but I feel on the back of the earnings, we are now potentially going to be going swinging up and that buy symbols come in. Probably would like a wee bit more confirmation if I was, uh, you know, only open in my first position. But I'm in on this. Um, I have an average price of in and around $17. I'm delighted with it. I'm currently up on it and I'll be riding this. So anyone's interested, Tattooed Chef is good. And again, you must know when they enter and exit your trades. But for me on the day chart, Tattooed Chef has now become a buy. Uh, it's the food industry. It's growth stock. They're doing something different. They're like number four in their category of uh, vegan sort of... Uh, plant-based foods, making great acquisitions if you're interested in a long hold. This could be potentially a great one. The only thing I will say is it's got a high short interest. 
which is another reason why I kind of like it because you might get that pump that we like but it does have a lot of YouTube influence which I don't particularly like because that can cloud your judgment a bit but I'm in on it because of the trade because I feel that I know the stock so we'll keep the fingers crossed on that one the next one on my list is Tesla no surprise love my Tesla um, and it's been a bit of a bumpy road over the last couple of weeks we had that huge crazy run up we sold on the, the November um, I actually sold maybe a wee bit earlier than that just when it feels right it feels right again coming back to a stock that you know this stock had a serious run up. Um, I started phasing money out from 1100 and I was pretty much all out by 1150. It did run on a bit more to, we actually seen heights of nearly 1250, but I'm okay with that. You can't time it. Thing is, what I did time was this, this huge drop that followed. I was out of it, didn't want any part of it. Um, and then on the day trade, we were sort of swinging in and out of things. But now anyway, this has become a buy on the day chart now. I still think this is an incredibly high price for Tesla. Not for what you're getting in the future. No doubt this is a great stock. I'm just a bit weary on how high and where this can go over the next few months. But the charts don't lie. I love the stock. I ain't missing out on this one. But for anyone new that maybe doesn't care too much about holding Tesla long or whatever. Even, you know, that would be crazy for not thinking that. But if you're just looking for a, a trade, be careful Tesla. I think it is a buy. But... It's just so high, it's hard to know. So um, that that's one there that it's looking great on the charts. We'll not get into the TA. You know, if you know, you know kind of thing. My course will be out very soon and you will definitely know then. The next one that I have is actually Apple. Um, and I bought this one last week. The reason I bought this one last week because on the 17th it became a buy and we've been riding this up. 6% up now currently, if I recall rightly. Um, yeah, well, it's actually more than 6%, but I'm about 6% up on it. Great swing trade, still looks good. Still think there's legs to run. You could definitely get in on this trade if you wish for all my alpine four lovers out there this is the other stock that we were still watching again this is one that we made great money on i'll not tell you you can go in and check the videos for, for evidence of that but we pretty much got this in and around the three dollar mark we rolled this right up until we got the sales number we made a lovely 27 percent and then see what happened you can go on watch the video of those of dislikes because people don't you know they're annoyed that i've you know tried to save them how much did i try to save you so yeah, 35 percent hmm, nasty didn't want no part of it <laughs> so i was out people didn't like the video they wanted me to hold all no but i'll tell you what i am doing i'm back in this week i'm going to wait to see what way monday opens so that's the disclaimer and not 100 percent sure if i'm straight back in but this buy symbol has come in and it looks like there is a good bit of reversal plenty of volume my only concern with alpine 4 is that they actually announced something good so technically speaking it was on a downward momentum we're not above the moving averages here so if this can get above this and can push on then um, i'm definitely going to be buying alpine 4 and we'll see where that swing can get us the list really does go on but there are three that are on my watch list that for this week um, and also yesterday if you watched my uh, short i did buy a little more bitcoin and ethereum fingers crossed so far that is looking to be a decent move you know yesterday when i bought we are up about five percent so far we use this as our resistance that we've been talking about for months on the channel and as soon as we hit that I just bought purely on instinct if you want to call it that and thankfully it's looking to be going back up but it is early days so try carefully on your crypto trades that's the video hope you found it informative i can't wait to get tour into this week really excited about my, my course as well it's been painful guys a lot of months of effort going in but we're very very close it's in the process of uploading it now to teachable it'll be coming out on that um, and yeah i'm really excited for that guys i hope you uh, trade carefully i'll catch you in the next yeah. video enjoy the rest of your day yeah coincidence yeah coincidence something to have us by chance i think not 